Hello and welcome back. Today we're going to talk about the RTX 3070 from PNY or PNY. I don't know how you say it. it feels good and it looks fairly well and well built. Before we start this video, I just want to say that subscribing to our channel helps out a lot and that it's free, as well as to comment on our videos and we will answer back as soon as possible. Looking at the box, we see that this is the GeForce RTX 3070, and it's called the XLR8 Gaming from PNI, and it has 8GB of RAM, as well as supports 4K, 4 monitors, and has 3 years warranty, and of course Epic X RGB. But let's spin this box around to see if we can get any more information out of the box. Looking on the side here, we don't see any more information, just the old, you know, 8GB, 4 monitors, 3 year warranty, and the RGB. But if you look on the back here, let's see if we can have anything more there. Looking here, we see some general information about the ray tracing cores, tensor cores, and the 6 gigabyte memory. We'll see the RGB, the X velocity, the DirectX 12 or 11, HDMI, and HDCP. But uh, other than that, there is not much more, so let's spin it around. And here we see it's the same old as on the other side, so let's just spin it around again. So far this box has been very bland, so let's open the box up and see what's inside. So inside we have the usual, you know, NVIDIA installation guide and... Uh, actually not much more, that's it. So let's uh, open up and see the card itself. Now we have the card out and it looks absolutely stunning if you ask me, especially for the price. We have the GeForce RTX logo right there, and we have one on the top here as well as the two 8-pin connectors for the power, and we have the fan exhaust for the fan that pulls air straight through the car itself, instead of the other two that just pushes out from this side panel right here. And the back exhaust there is really nice and big, so a lot of air can go through it, if you compare to other RTX cards, and it's very nicely built in with the metal back plate. But enough about that, let's spin this card around. Taking a spin on this card, we can see that it's very neatly designed when it's how it looks, and it also is very neatly built when it comes to airflow, both on the back and as you can see here on the sides. I really like how it looks, but for the price, I would want a little bit more of you know subtle RGB and maybe on a, on a logo or anything like that. But let's spin it around now and flip it. Here we have the three fans and a little bit of pieces of metal that protects it from cables and such. And uh, we see that all the, the air is going through here and we have the two power cables for the RGB and fans beside the 8-pin connectors. But let's spin this around and show you more about the card. Here on the back you can see straight through the back fan exhaust, which means that you're gonna have a lot of air going through there. Not much uh, resistance there that you have on other RTX cards. And as you see now, it looks stunning on all sides, at least it does to me. And if you look here on the back side, we have the HDMI 2.1 and 3 DisplayPort 1.4. But enough about that, let's see how it looks in a finished system. But now, let's see how this card sounds, and I'm gonna be a bit quiet now, so you can actually hear the, you know, card itself. And of course I pressed the card to its absolute maximum at this point. And here I'll show you the minimum, maximum and current degrees of the card as I was pressing this card to the maximum. So this card is both cool and very quiet. 
So this card comes with the bad capacitors, the ones on in the middle there. Uh, the issue is a little bit more advanced than that. I'll look at Jay's Two Cents video about this. He's quite thorough when it comes to explaining this. So check him out, I'll give a link in the description below. But let's take a look at some game tests. Uh, I'm gonna use 4040p for all tests except Metro Last Light. And of course everything on Ultra maxed out. And here we see the average FPS of 64 FPS, as well as the minimum of 51 and maximum of 85. Uh, the minimum is important here, because that's where you're really gonna feel the dips. Onwards to Metro Exodus. And here we see an average of 53 and a maximum of 99 and a minimum of 27-28. Metro can't be heavy because they use RTX as well as many things happening at once. So that's important to also know in this test. As you can see in the background here now, it looks gorgeous. Onwards to Tomb Raider, which also uses RTX and looks Absolutely fantastic. Here we have the settings. Let's start it. And here you can see an average of 87 and a maximum of 158 and a minimum of 65 with the 90 fm percentile 68 FPS. I know it says 85 in the top, but I'm going straight for the GPU performance here. But let's go and look at some non-game benchmarks to see how it performs. Let's take a look at some benchmark scores. I'm gonna use 3 mark and some Time Spy. Uh, all the system info will be in the description. So we got a score of 13,102. Uh, that score also depends on what CPU, memory and all the other components in the PC uh, is, of course, but without a test system, we got this score. And lastly, for all you miners out there, I'm gonna show you some Ether mining hash rate information. Uh, this is on the newest um, software, of course, newest drivers uh, f at the time. But now, onwards to the giveaway section. So, welcome back to the giveaway section of the video. Uh, I'm just gonna input our latest video URLs right here. And let's uh, filter out duplicates and include replies on comments if someone said something cool. Um, I'm also using this program right here or website to pick a random um, subscriber and commenter. So let's just see. Let's load these comments here where I see that we have 30 unique commenters. Uh, yeah, so let's just click start to see who's gonna win this weekend's giveaway. Ronith Gaming, congratulations. Um, pff, let's just head out over to the other giveaway section and see which game you are going to win. And also, shout out to you here, as I can see that, bro, I'm a small YouTuber, can you help me? So, see this as a shout out too. Okay, so here's a proper shout out, Ronith, but, uh, my bro, you need some videos, man. So you're in the game section of the giveaway, so I'm just gonna spin this wheel quickly and uh, do like a little shuffle and see which game you are going to win. So you have won Dragon Age Origins, it's a really good RPG and strategy game. So I hope you're happy with that, and yes, hit me up on Twitter or Discord and I'll send this game to you. Remember to subscribe and click the bell notification for more videos, as well as like, comment and share. To be in the next weekend's giveaway, just see to it that you have subscribed and that you have commented on the video. Uh, if you have done that, you will be in the next weekend's Spinning the Wheel giveaway. Thanks for watching, have a good day now, bye bye!